Welcome to View by DJ SPRC. What I wanted to talk today is basically a little bit about the BL Touch and the Sear Touch, like I have in my hands right here. I don't know if she's going to want to focus, but one of the first things I'm hearing a lot of, about a lot of people that are asking, it's not working on my machine. Why is it not working? Not all Creality machines uh, out of the box are compatible with them. The newer ones are because some of them will come with it. Some of the newer machine will have a direct drive uh, from uh, Creality like I have on my uh, Ender 3 Max here. That's called the Sprite. Uh, they do come with it now. But the other machines, like if you take an example, my Ender 2 Pro right here that doesn't have uh, the CR Touch or the BL Touch comes with it, it doesn't. Even if you have an older machine like uh, the Ender 3 Max here that I have too, they don't come with it. But if you do get the kit, you can install it. But the firmware itself that's in the machine, on the board should I say, it's not compatible with it. You have to update the firmware. Now, Creality does have certain firmwares that will be compatible with the CR Touch or even the BL Touch. In the BL Touch, you do have a, some clones out there. They're not bad at all either. They're pretty much bang on. Difference is the original BL Touch, like I have on my these two machines right here, the wiring is a lot longer for it. The clones ones, you'll have the wiring will be a couple, uh, let's say maybe a foot long, then you have to extend them to your board and you'll see on your board there's specific places to plug them on but the question i'm getting a lot is i have this version of board it doesn't work especially if we looked at the ender 2 pro Creality unfortunately made two versions of boards they made a v4 and i just don't remember the other number here Yes, you do have a V4, and there's another one at that B4, I don't remember the exact number of it, but unfortunately, the day of making this video, pretty much all the newer Ender 3 Pros that comes out, Ender 2 Pros, should I say, come, coming out, they have the newer boards that there's no firmware for it, from Creality. Now, if you're ready to create your own firmware, to build it with a Marlin or um, there's another one I just can't remember the name right now uh, then you'll be fine you'll be able to add it to it it's like these two Ender Max 3 here when I got them I bought the BL Touch for them did not work off the bat the firmware was not compatible with it I had to compile a Marlin Look at the firmware, build it, and say, okay, BL Touch active on it, and decide the, the points that I wanted to do on it. If you're not basically a little computer wise, I wish you just not to try it. I don't even want to make a video uh, showing how to do it because I'm not an expert in that field. I do know some stuff, I'm able to make it work, they're both working no issues is even this guy here with my direct drive from the from the reality for sprite again i had to modify the, the firmware to have the sprite working and even this printer should have dual z-axis this printer is pretty much uh upgraded to the max that's the word max <laughs> uh this one's pretty much stock it has the BL Touch, and that's about it on this guy here. And I do, I am running Capricorn, things like that. But before you decide to buy a Sierra Touch and throw it on the ground, as I just did, or a BL Touch, verify what board you have. If you take the machine, put it upside down or on its side, remove the cover underneath. You'll notice on the board itself, 
it will say around here in the middle of the board this is a big tree tech uh, board i don't have a karate board out it will tell you the version of your board on my ender 2 pro here it's uh, the 4.22 if i'm correctly that's why i always write it down it's the version 4.2.3 i do apologize and Creality has a firmware for this guy i did not compile a firmware from marlin because it works i have no issues these guys running a special marlin that i, I built um some people will have built some firmware for them and say you can use mine it's the same machine you could be lucky somebody else built it and it's working but your machine could be off just a bit just make sure to do your diligence and make sure everything's working because you have other stuff uh even on these here not on that one anymore on this one you have the filament runout sensor again in the firmware i had to activate that if not not gonna work this guy here doesn't have a filament sensor don't really need it but again if you do compile you have to make sure to activate the correct uh settings in it but like i say before you go and buy let's me grab it from the floor yeah <laughs> a cr touch or a bl touch make sure your board's compatible or make sure should i say you can get a firmware for it There are some YouTubers out there that have website that they can compile firmware for you again. Go ahead if you want to, but just make sure you're getting the correct one for your board. Because these here have the 422 firmware correctly. This one's going to be upgraded to the Big Tree, Big Tech right here. Uh, and this is the uh, version 3.0 3 SKR Mini E3. These boards from Big Tree, Big Tree Tech are designed for realities. And wasn't that expensive? Uh, I think it was like $67 Canadian on Amazon. Yeah, I can't complain at that price. I Yeah. Uh, and they do have even more options for it. If you want to add a filament sensor, things like that. It's designed on the board. It's designed for dual Z, things like that. If you are deciding to upgrade your board again, that's something you'll need to look into. Firmware. I'll say it again. Before grabbing this, a CR touch or a BL touch, make sure that your board is compatible with it. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. I do appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It does help the channel a lot. And thank you for watching.